My name is Simon Maritim and I'm standing in one of the rivers supplying Lake Nakuru. This one is River Andarugu and as you can see there are a lot of debris. People are dumping every kind of garbage here is there's a lot of garbage here. There are people who are harvesting sand from the river. The dryness of the river is as a result of uh, people cutting trees at the other side of the river. The National Environmental Management Authority has not come to the rescue of this river. And uh, it doesn't mind about uh, this river because they have not come here just to take what is happening here. Uh, according to the laws, people are supposed to face the lands 30 meters from the river. But as you can see here, people have fenced their lands direct to the river. Behind me, there are children who are playing and there's a lot of debris here. One of them, you can see here, I have a bag. Maybe someone was washing clothes and this bag seems to be a, a good bag. Maybe it was washed down the river and the one who was washing it was not in a position to retrieve it when the river was in high tide. A good, it's a good bag. In fact, the zip here is in working condition. It was a good bag and maybe the owner had to leave it because Maybe it was washed down the river. And I, I have told you there are some people who have come to this river. To pick sand from the river. Another thing that I observed from the river is that people are throwing dangerous chemicals into the river. This one is a commercial agricultural class chemical. And as you can see, I'm telling you, every kind of debris has found its way into the river, including this pampas. We have condoms, we have instant yeast, we have also cleaning agents including prime foam. This river is like a playground. You cannot believe that water used to be here. and. Uh, in fact, when there is a lot of rain, this river normally floods and it goes about 10 meters on both sides. There's a lot of debris here, including energy cans. This one is a spaghetti. They are also found in the river. This one is a packet of cabra sugar. We have Indomie. We have Daima milk. We also have cleaning edges. And when people have finished using these cleaning edges, they throw the packets into the river. Children are playing in the river. And uh,
they have managed to pick the debris from the river. This one uh, is a packet of tea leaves. We have a packet of tomato sauce. We have uh, this one is just forever juice packet. This one is a packet of cooking fat. And uh, I would like to urge the residents of Nakuru to stop dumping the garbage, the garbage into this river. I would like the residents of Nakuru to be more conscious about this river. We have the dam site which is in Gyoto, so they should take the garbage into that dam site instead of dumping the garbage into this river. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of garbage here. And uh, this was not a good thing, especially for the lake, which we are told now it is very shallow because of uh, this garbage, which is moving all the way from the upper side to the lake. I would like also to urge the National Environmental Management Authority to come to the rescue of this river Darugo. They should not allow activities such as what is happening behind me. People should not come here and uh, make this one a quarry. We have the, uh, we have the local chief who also should come to the rescue of this river. People should not take sand from the river. Activities like sand taking from the river should not continue. And this one, uh, I think the chief of this area know, knows what is happening here. And he should not keep quiet. He should come to the rescue of this river and stop these sand harvesters from harvesting sand from this dry river. But what they have found is dry, mucky mud.